What are isotopes? Isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. Atoms are composed of a nucleus of protons and neutrons, while electrons orbit around the nucleus in distinct energy levels. Protons dictate the element's identity, so in order for atoms to be of the same element, they should have the same number of protons. So, an atom with one proton is always hydrogen, no matter how many neutrons it has. The difference in neutrons is what distinguishes one isotope from another. The number of protons in a nucleus is referred to as the atomic number, and the number of protons plus neutrons is referred to as the mass number. So, isotopes can also be defined as atoms with the same atomic number but different mass numbers. An isotope is defined by the element's nucleon number. This is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. It can be written in different ways. Sometimes you will see the nucleon number written as a superscript before the chemical symbol of the element. For example, oxygen has 16 nucleons and is written with the superscript 16 and its chemical symbol capital letter O. This can also be written as oxygen 16 or O16. Now, let's look at some examples of isotopes. The isotopes of hydrogen all have one proton, but different numbers of neutrons. Hydrogen-1 has only one nucleon, which is its proton. Hydrogen-1 has no neutrons. Hydrogen-2 has two nucleons, one proton and one neutron, and hydrogen-3 has three nucleons, one proton and two neutrons. The isotopes of carbon have six protons, but differing numbers of neutrons. Carbon-12 has 12 nucleons, six protons and six neutrons. Carbon-13 has 13 nucleons, six protons and seven neutrons, and carbon-14 has 14 nucleons. So, how many protons and neutrons does carbon-14 have? That's right, it has six protons and eight neutrons. Certain isotopes are unstable and give off radiation. Radioactive isotopes release an unstable type of energy called radioactive decay. Radioactive decay refers to the emission of radioactive particles, such as protons, neutrons, electrons, and photons, from an unstable nucleus to make it more stable. There are three types of radioactive decay, alpha decay, beta decay, and gamma decay. Alpha decay occurs when a nucleus emits two protons and two neutrons, which is called an alpha particle or helium nucleus. An example of alpha decay is when uranium-238 emits an alpha particle and becomes thorium-234. Beta decay occurs when a neutron turns into a proton, emitting a high-energy electro called a beta particle. For example, carbon-14 undergoes beta decay, emitting a beta particle and becoming nitrogen-14. Since a neutron has turned into a proton, the atomic number changes from 6 to 7. Gamma decay occurs when a high-energy electromagnetic wave, known as a photon, is emitted by the nucleus. During gamma decay, there is no change in protons, neutrons, or mass number. However, an atom goes from an excited state to a relaxed state. For example, thorium undergoes gamma radiation emitting a photon. Now, let's delve into one of the most intriguing applications of isotopes, carbon-14 dating. This method is a powerful tool used by scientists to determine the age of organic materials. Here's how it works. Living organisms constantly absorb carbon from the atmosphere and the food they consume. This carbon includes all isotopes of carbon, including the stable carbon-12 and the radioactive carbon-14. In nature, carbon-12 is abundant, making up about 98.89% of carbon atoms, while carbon-14 exists in trace amounts. While an organism is alive, it maintains a balance of carbon-14 in its tissues through intake from the environment. However, once the organism dies, it no longer absorbs carbon. At this point, the carbon-14 within its tissues begins to decay at a known rate, gradually transforming into nitrogen-14 through beta decay. By measuring the remaining ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 in a sample, scientists can estimate how long it has been since the organism died. As carbon-14 decays over time, the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 decreases. Therefore, the lower the proportion of carbon-14 compared to carbon-12, the older the sample is likely to be. 
Radioactive isotopes have several other uses, including nuclear medicine, research, radiotherapy, and agriculture. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content on physics, chemistry, and biology.